This example illustrates the sampling distribution and the application of central limit theorem. The problem is, the average score for SAT mathematics is 500 with a standard deviation of 100. A particular school claims that its students have unusually high scores for SAT mathematics. A random sample of 50 students from this school revealed that the mean score was 545. Is the school justified in its claim? Explain. First, let's recall sampling distribution and central limit theorem. It says that if x bar is the mean of a random sample of size n from an infinite population with mean mu and standard deviation sigma, and the sample size n is large enough, then z equal to x bar minus mu over sigma over square root n has approximately the standard normal distribution. When is the sample size large enough to apply central limit theorem? In practice, the central limit theorem is applied when one of the following is true. For example, when the population distribution is approximately normal. Let's look at the problem again. We are given that the mean is 500 and the standard deviation from the SAT score is 100. Now, this school Take a sample of 50 students and you find that the mean x bar is 5 for 5. So is this an unusual score? So let's try to find the probability of x bar greater than or equal to 5 for 5. Is it very unusual? First of all, we, we know that z is equal to x bar minus mu over sigma and over square root n and this is standard normal so the probability is the same as z greater than equal to 5 for 5 minus mu is 500 over sigma is 100 divided by x square root n n is equal to 50 so this is the same as the probability of z could then equal 3.18. Now, let's look at the distribution of the standard normal where the center is zero, and we're looking for the probability of z greater than 3.18. And so, the area we're looking for on the right side of 3.18. Now, what is the area from zero to 3.18 we can check the table you find out that 3.18 for z so move down 3.18 we'll find that 3.18 0 0.4993 so area from 0 to 3.18 is 0 0.4993 so that means this area is 0 0.4993. So the area of the yellow tail is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4993, 0 0.0007. So we find that the property of z greater than equal to 3.18 is 0 0.0007 which is very, very small. So the probability that the x bar more than or equal to 545 is very, very rare. So if the school have a sample of 50 and find that the mean is 545, that means that this school has an unusually high score. So the school has justified its claim because it is very rare to get x bar greater than equal to 5, 4, 5. And this school has produced a random sample of 50 students and find the average is 5, 4, 5. That finished the solution.